I'll do it a little bit. Maybe. Alright everyone, welcome back to Shadow of the Tomb Raider. It's been a little while since I've streamed this, but I think we're near the finale. I'm pretty sure I need to go this way, yeah. I'm terrible at playing this game in the order that I should be. So there's a crypt around here somewhere. A secret crypt. What I mean by that is I take too much time. Why secret? If Lopez is involved, there's bound to be a trick. That's a solid theory. What about you? Did you find anything? I got a pamphlet. Seven steps closer to God. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe it'll help. Oh. I don't know if I want to go take the time to read that. Maybe. <coughs> Feels like a mausoleum. Mm, means we're on the right track, right? Jonah, I feel something. We're getting close. Let's look around for signs of Lopez. The interesting thing is, like, it says I'm only 37% done with it, but I do feel like we're near the end. Also, my shirt is way more vibrant on camera than it is in person. It's, like, darker in person, but it's, like, super bright here. It's behind that. Looks like it's from the 17th century. Was this not where I'm supposed to? It does look like it moves though. Do you see what I'm seeing? Interesting. A heron and an eclipse. <clears throat> Jonah, this book describes a stranger's arrival at the mission. He founded the Sect of Seven. Maybe that was Lopez. Like on the pamphlet. We must be getting close. Cool. We should keep looking. This could be it. There's a ton of stuff in this building. Will be darkened, and the moon will not give its light the end of days. And under his wings you may seek refuge. Jonah, those two Bible quotes. The sun will be darkened, and under his wings you may seek refuge. That's it. Look for a heron and an eclipse. You mean what I saw, like, when I came in here? There's oh, boy. There's a whole under here. <laughs> Looks like the seven steps. The true cross. Is that what I think it is? The silver box. It's unmistakable. Jesus takes up the cross. These are the stations of the cross. But there's a bunch missing. Before 1600, there were only seven. This could date back to the time of Lopez. This is one of his clues. Yeah, it's the kind of thing he does. All right. Let's see if we can find a cross lying around here somewhere. The thing I found is straight out the gate. We'll find a way. It's like I found it in reverse order. <laughs> found this, then the other one, then the clues upstairs and downstairs. Yeah. Jesus takes up the cross. Help me lift this. <laughs> Ugh! <gasps> 
Looks like a long way down. Let's see where this leads. I've always thought this kind of stuff was cool. Like kind of the ancient Christian kind of like puzzle stuff. Of course you don't know how real any of that is, but it kind of reminds me of like angels and demons, like that kind of thing. She was saying it. A nice and easy puzzle. I do like light puzzles. I think they're kind of cool, where you kind of guide the light to different positions. I wouldn't want to be buried in here. The head tossed behind a cross somewhere. Keep moving, buddy. Walk while you have the light, so that the darkness may not overtake you. Like or a threat. Wonder what's in the dark. Station three. Jesus meets his mother. That looks interactive right there. Mm -hmm. Oh, I can move. I'll give you a boost. Oh. That still looks interactive to me. That's cool. What happened to these people? It looks like the light activated something. Laura! Ooh, that was close. Are you all right? You're lucky it was a little rusted. This must be Station 4. Yeah. Let's have a look at these frescoes. Yikes. That guy wasn't so lucky. Look, someone else got close. He wasn't as lucky. That's what I said. So that's not the right this was just one. Equipped. It's... This one. I assume so, because that one get it. impaled him. I haven't really seen anything too supernatural in this one. Besides the really scary uh, cannibal looking people. Laura, is that what I think it is? The stations of the cross again. But with mummies. Isn't this sacrilegious? Not necessarily. They could have been paying the ultimate homage. Or they were just sick. This must be station six. I kinda wanna look around a little bit. This looks really intense. The carrying like him. Church. These ones are posed like monks. Uh huh. It's crazy looking. They're lifting him. She's wiping his face, I think. So that light is right there. She's wiping his oh, face, I think. It's the same one. So Lopez saved the whole crucifixion. Jesus, I think this was a place of worship for an underground sect. Mm -hmm. Jesus nailed to the cross. So I actually gotta go look at that pamphlet. That's probably how the way this is set up is not very intuitive. I'm just gonna say. All right, I think it's this one, according to the pamphlet. Let's see. Yeah. 
it's not. That's kind of like weird. Church. These ones are posed like monks. It's like Star Wars. They just shrink away. A tradition. Oh. Jesus takes up the cross. I was looking at it wrong. The first time. So we'll do that one. Let's see. <laughs> Somebody got stuck in there, it looks like. What the hell happened to you? Lopez had his disciple wall him in and then... Bang. Huh? No witnesses. She breaks everything. <laughs> oh my. The box of you shall. Looks cool. Only the hands of the righteous one may seize destiny. From mine. I guess it's you then. We'll see. He led us on this goose chase. He sabotaged every clue. All to keep this box from Trinity. And the people of Paititi. He was totally consumed by it. It wouldn't surprise me if they brought the eel back one more time. It's a good thing the water is super clear. She's doing pretty good for the little amount of air she probably had. Trying to catch a breath before going underwater while you're falling, and it also being some of the surprise. Creepy. Not gonna lie, this game kind of picked up near the end. How 
did he get Where's out? Where's she? I don't know. I just need the box. Fuck you! Well, I guess we're done here. Stop! Let him go! Release him, and I will give you the box. Laura, what are you doing? I've lost enough people. I know you have. Your father was brilliant. He was taken from me before I could know. He was my friend. He was obsessed, relentless. You didn't know him. He refused to see the potential for destruction in his work. He had to be stopped. You had him killed. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. He was going to lead the public to buy Titi. Everything I love, everything I fought for. My word would have been destroyed. And what about my world? Shoot him. You can't think it's the same. It is. To a nine-year-old girl, I was a child. There was too much at stake. An entire civilization, hundreds of years of independence, thousands of lives. I had no choice. There's always a choice. It's not too late. You can honor Unaratu and restore the sun. No. The threat must be removed. You're a low, selfish, murdering coward. And you, Lara, how many lives have you ended? Hmm? In pursuit of what? Nice. Laura, go! Nice. Stop him! Yes, finally get a gun. <laughs> Thank goodness. Did I just drop it? I better not have just dropped it. Why wouldn't I take it with me? Looks like I have my stuff. Did I have weapons before? I can't remember. You know, the real question is do I go stealth, which I tend to fail at in this game, or do I just go guns blazing? I have a ton of ammo. If there's any change in our status, he'll tell us. I'll do a little bit of stealth. But the moment I'm discovered, I'm just gonna lay waste. These guys are all too close together. So much goddamn ash everywhere. Keep this so channel clear. Super close yes, together. The situation is being handled. I say again, keep this channel clear. It's kind of weird clear. that it makes you stand Our up God. even if you're doing an arrow. I know when you play, I'm comparing it to Horizon Zero Dawn with the the bow and arrow, which it doesn't make you stand up. I mean, realistically, I should be able to stay crouching and shoot. I'm just gonna do it. Not the best idea. I hope I get to see it when we take it out of here. We're not going to change 
myself that it was that's where I thought he was at first but then I doubted myself oh I don't have enough healing stuff okay simple enough uh to be totally honest I'm not a huge fan of the stealth in this game again comparing it to Horizon Zero Dawn a game that I really do enjoy I'll do it a little bit. Maybe. Graceful way to do that. Keep your head down. I'm on my way. Maybe I just have a bad taste in my mouth from last episode, where I died a ton in that one beginning area. I'm sure there's really cool ways to do all that, but I'm not sure. Game field, all units. Priority one. Find Lara Croft. You heard the commander. Let's go hunting. Croft, I know you're out there. I know in the first I game there was a ton of more area. like just shootout areas. Against it. That's on me. But I'm gonna fix that mistake. Now. I think this is what I'm talking about. It's like you can spend five minutes doing it, and then the moment you get caught, you're just screwed because you're in the middle of a takedown, and they'll just kill you. That's really, and then it puts you back all the way here. I should have killed you in Siberia, but the Minguez was against it. That's on me. So it's a little frustrating, not gonna lie. It's also kind of interesting because some of the takedowns are like much faster than other ones. All right, let's go. I don't think I should try fighting all these guys. There's too many. Just to be annoying. Go for it. There we go. Okay. It's a checkpoint at least. Box. No. 
Jonah. Possibly. I might just keep this rolling for the one big finale. Super hard. Kind of want to see what it looks like. That way. Did you say that to yourself? Too late. Gone. It's a good thing these loading screens are relatively quick for these. How much longer to pay TT? Almost there. I've been using this outfit like the entire game. I'm sorry I lost It's the supposed bus. to help with stealth, but I'm so crap at stealth. But... It's not your fault. It's... It's Dominguez. It's Trinity. All the way back, as far as I can remember, it's always been them. I could have had a family. Everything could have been different. We will get the box, and we will stop Dominguez. <sighs> Sorry, I'm yawning a lot. I'm not bored of the game or anything. I'm just stayed up super late last night. I've been uh, working on a tribute video for. Red Dead, and I needed, well, I thought of a cool idea which required me to basically get the bad ending as well, so I, I had to save right before the ending, Lara. so I went and made myself Where, have bad honor the to then have the, the ending that I want, which I'm going to use right but at the, the beginning. Death of the sun draws near. We'll get it back before I was up late, the space clue, I'm saying. This will not be easy, 
We'll have to adjust the plan. Please, take your time to prepare yourself. We'll gather intelligence and fighters. Thank you. That's probably like, you know, I'll stay here and lend you a make sure you've tied up all loose ends before you do the finale kind of thing. For those of you who have been watching uh, me do my streams, you'll know that I wrapped up Spider-Man two days ago. Like, it probably will just let me. Yeah, so this is the finale. Um, I think I'm actually going to end it here and then do a separate episode. Um, so thank you guys so much for tuning in to see this one. Um, this is exciting. We're going to hit the, the final uh, in this next episode. I'm looking forward to seeing how this all wraps up, seeing how the box comes in and plays its role. Um, but in the meantime, hit me up on my social media, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, or my main accounts. I do have a Tumblr. If you want to check me out there, you can. I, I'm trying to be better about updating it, but those first three are my main ones. Um, you can contact me on those ones, um, and I'll, I'll reply to you. Um, let me know what you want me to play, and I'll see you guys in the next one.